So there's been a bunch of videos and guys talking about putting supports from the top of the machine down to the back of the machine to stop it from swaying. And um, I think it's a very legitimate uh, thing to do. I haven't done it yet, I'd like to try it. But one thing I was interested in is I seen a video of a guy talking about his table surface or where the machine sits. Now, um, I was really shocked to see how much movement there is in these uprights and or from the table or where you've got your machine situated. So what I did was I printed out this little piece to hold my gauge here. And then all I'm gonna do is just shake the table. So this is to sort of simulate the back and forth movement of, of the machine printing. So all I'm doing is just wiggling the table and I'm not wiggling it all that much. And look at how much this gauge is moving. So the print head is experiencing this as it's going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, so let me just touch the, I'm gonna touch the upright here a little bit. And one way or the other, it's absolutely making a really big difference as to uh, printing. So here's a single piece of paper and the shaking of the table is moving the print head almost a full layer height or at least the thickness of a piece of paper in one way or the other so the prints either getting smushed more or lifted up more or just out of wax so having a, a really rigid printing table or printing surface and doing these uprights I think is a is a major deal. I'm, I'm gonna try to experiment with it and see if I can get that to happen or get those pieces, see if I can get those pieces printed and attached, but uh, yeah, this here has gotta stop. If you have any suggestions or if anyone else has experienced this or if there's any other methods maybe to, to rigid this up but besides the braces in the back, please, uh, comment and let me know. I'd, I'd really like to try it out.